all, it's me, Chris, and I am here with my friend, Morgan. Hi, Morgan. How are you? Hi, Chris. <laughs> we are going to do an interview with Morgan to uh, have her tell us about her story and everything and share her experience with her transition and all that stuff. So let's get started. First of all, Morgan, you want to introduce yourself? Yes. My name is Morgan, and um, I live in Southern California, and I'm a student. I'm very close to my family. And I hang with Chris a lot. That's me. Yeah, um, and I'm very queer. With the queerest. <laughs> queerest of them all. <laughs> uh, so I have about eight questions, and so let's get started. First off, how do you identify your gender? So that's a tricky one because it's been a little bit all over the place just throughout the years and months. But if I had to pinpoint like something specifically to identify myself as, it would be androgynous slash by gender. So kind of like an androgyn, someone who has both male and female characteristics. And the by gender is just male and female in one. Sweet. Thank you. How do you want society to perceive your gender? Because we do live in a uh, binary system. So unfortunately we do. Yeah. Especially in this time and period, it's very, very binary. Yeah. But I like to be perceived as female. I go by female pronouns. So female, but if I am perceived as male, then uh, it's no big deal. It's especially if I first wake up and my, my voice is a little deeper than some people think like, Oh, what are they? You know? Mm -hmm. But uh, for the most part, I present more female. Mm -hmm. And is that what you want, like, others to perceive you as, or... Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, and it's, it's, it sucks because as people who don't really care, like, that's how I am, where I don't care if I get called ma'am or sir, and so it's like, what do I want people to perceive my gender? Well, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't <laughs> right, care. Right. So it's like, whatever they want, you know? So, as a person who is female, sex-born but is transitioning um, in some social aspects. Why did you decide to go on hormone replacement ser therapy, a.k.a. going on testosterone? So I experience uh, gender dysphoria. So I look in the mirror, I feel emotions, I perceive the world in the eyes and physiologically as a female. And so going on testosterone kind of like counteracted and made it so that when I experience these emotions, it's more male-like and a little bit more steady. Mm -hmm. So I feel like sometimes I like all across the board, on on mostly prominently estrogen but going on testosterone it's just i just feel myself my body's changing to be uh more of a male form and that is very it eases that's the word i was looking for it eases my gender dysphoria cool and so there's a point so you were on testosterone for how long um a little over a year okay so at some point um, the mm -hmm. first time you went on testosterone you had to go off and right. why why did you have to go off? So um, I was at school um, just doing my schoolwork and doing living my life, <laughs> you know, going, doing my injections, and, and I experienced, like, a, a slight mental breakdown, and that required parental intervention and psychiatric treatment, and it was required for me to go off all meds, and that included hormones. Mm. So I had to kind of revert back to my female originality and how I am mm. normally. So you had to get off everything and the doctors were like, you have to even get off of testosterone. Right, so, yeah. Okay. So that's lovely. It's, yeah. That's a journey. And, and you don't hear people going on and off because it's like, no. I don't come across that often. So what made you go but decide to go back on tea if, if, since you're after. Yeah, so I was uh, taking testosterone through my insurance provider. And I won't, like, name them just for that sake. <laughs> I'm just saying because it wasn't that good. Okay. okay. <laughs> Here's, like, a bunch of testosterone. Yeah. Try it out. We'll monitor your levels. But mm -hmm. for the most part, if you stay within this range, you're yeah. good. And that didn't work for my brain. So yeah. uh, I went to my parents' hormone doctor. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh, you know, we're going to do the pellet form instead of the injectable and it lasts for six months you don't have to maintain it at all 
and um, it's just a little bit more of an easier route on your body. Yeah. So how do you feel when now that you're back on to you, like mentally and physically? Oh, I feel great. Yeah, I have great energy. Also, again, like I mentioned earlier, my horm- or my uh, emotions are very kind of like flatline a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like I have up and downs, but for the most part, it's very level and I feel very balanced. That's mm-hmm. the key word here is balance. That's good. And um, I like the the voice change and body change and you get very hairy. (laughs) (laughs) So getting off the topic of HRT, do you want any surgeries like top, bottom, facial, anything along those lines to help your gender? I considered they have the masculine facial surgery and that's technically like plastic surgery. Um, I'm not too keen on how it might turn out or not. So I'm going to, bypass that option but I, I seriously considered that in the past mm-hmm. I just emailed my doctor yesterday about uh, the option of top surgery so I'm going through the hurdles and loopholes that you need to do in order to <laughs> get to the final stage of like in like uh, interviewing surgeons mm-hmm. so awesome yeah. And how do you feel about uh, taking that step? Um, it's a little nerve-wracking because it's a big surgery. So how do you feel about name change? And do you feel like you want to change your name? I went by a different name when I was first identified as a trans man. Um, I went by Will. And um, the whole name change process was a little stressful for me because um, some people would say, call me Morgan, and then they feel bad. And like, oh my gosh, Will, I forgot. Yeah. And um, and I and Morgan has so many nicknames, like Mo, Mosey, Moshi. So <laughs> I just get called a lot of Mo stuff. And so all those were vanished when I changed names. So how I feel about name change now is that I think Morgan is very gender neutral and versatile. So I'm keeping my name as it is now. That's a great name. Do you think you will change your gender marker? And if so, why? Um, I've thought about it a lot. And if I start presenting more as male and being called he and him, I think it is a good idea to change that just so there isn't any confusion if say I need to show my ID for something. It's no. like, oh, female, no. but you look male. Who is this? You know, so... It's if I start, you know, going stealth that way. But Mm -hmm. um, as of now, I'm content with it being female. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think that you should have to conform to what society wants. I think society needs to change, but that's a whole other topic. And the reason why I asked uh, Morgan to do this interview with me is because, one, she's awesome. And two, I feel like her story is a little little different than um, what you have seen in the past where um, she's more of an androgynous gender neutral non-binary type of person who is going through transitioning and it's it's nice that um with some of these questions you're like you feel like this but you're this and you're doing this and and she's not checking all the boxes that like you would assume a person trans would go through or whatnot um so my last question for her is why do you feel like it's okay to break the trans norm um expression wise yeah thoughts on that hmm (laughs) Well, I think you ultimately need to be you and whatever that means. But I think it has to be in the right context. So if you are in uh, an unhealthy uh, family or household that does not accept you to the way you are, you have to do what you got to do in order to be on your own and get by. But uh, as far as being yourself and like breaking that norm, once you make that step and break whatever norm you have adhered to for so long um there's so much freedom and possibility that you can do with that go and explore yourself and go and see what else is out there (laughs) awesome and i really thank morgan for doing this um interview thank you morgan oh yeah Uh, thank you for having me because i i feel like the story needs to be told i think that um I think there needs more of experiences where, like, she is going by she right now, but is also taking testosterone. Mm-hmm. Or she doesn't know what she wants to do with her gender marker. And that's amazing, like, because it's it's not at this or that, especially when it comes to 
the transition process and um, right. figuring out stuff and whatnot. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, yes, thank you. <laughs> if uh, if you like this uh, interview and have more questions for Morgan or just want to want to see us talk about more things, please comment or message me um, whenever you feel comfortable. Let me know. And yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah. Um, all my social media is at the bottom. Um, please let me know what you want to see after this. And yeah, thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Yeah. Okay. No, is, there's no editing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you fucked up. <laughs> um, no, say whatever you want to say. Oh, uh, okay, cool. You'll get final say on the video. Oh, cool. <laughs>